fishing, you know, as a massive heritage, it goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. And if we want these fishermen to put food on our plates, we need to support the colleges, apprenticeships, in them being able to train fishermen to still go out to sea and put food on our plates for more generations to come. If you look at the median age of fishermen in the UK, and you'll probably find that it's as much as sort of 60 or 70% are over 50. The industry has been aware of it for a while, I think, but it, it's one of those things that, how do you best deal with it? We're on our first year of running the Fisher Apprenticeship. It was developed by a, a trailblazer group that was uh, recognised that there was a significant skill shortage for new entrants, and then we picked up the qualification once it, it was approved. It's an 18-month apprenticeship, and of that 18 months, they spend a total of 14 weeks uh, with us. The good thing about the course here at uh, South Devon is that all of our lecturers on the, the fishing course are ex-fishermen. Three minutes is that window you've got. You know, that's assuming the worst case scenario. If you can aim to do it in three minutes, survival chances are pretty good. Man overboard! It's automatic. You know, if, you, if, if you're on deck and you shout man overboard, you know you don't run around like a headless chicken. You keep pointing at the casualty all the time. So we do as much as we can possibly to prepare them for the worst case scenario so we make them understand that they are responsible for their own health and safety besides the vessel owner, but they have to be aware of themselves. Sadly, the, the tradition of, of the sea fishing sector, certainly in Brixham and surrounding areas, has been for um, people branded as non-academics. And the reality is that to, to operate a trawler in th this day and age, you need to have extreme leadership skills, business acumen, entrepreneurial spirit. Um, they're highly technical um, pieces of machinery um, and people's lives are dependent on those operating safely. there's massive scope in the industry, you know, to climb the ladder with any business, whether it be shoreside, whether it be at sea as a fisherman, there's massive scope, and it's probably one of the best industries that I can imagine to be involved in. The general situation. The United Kingdom lies in a moderate to strong northerly or northwesterly you are out there and sometimes in the middle of nowhere with nobody within sight and if god forbid something happens you need to be able to communicate correctly to to use a vhf you you have to have a license so a half an hour exam paper one and um, then we have to do a practical one where we have to speak into radios and do like mayday calls, pan pan calls and all of that and that's the end of a test. Nice, good luck. Thank you. Our VHF exam went really really well um, which is good, I passed, which is another qualification uh, that I needed. It went really well. Nah, I'm not at the start, but I passed luckily. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Network is it's one of the base skills of being a good fisherman. Now 
It allows them to be able to repair the nets. We teach them how different types of fishing net are put together. Obviously, they work on different fisheries, um, and it's a vital skill. There's a, certainly a modernisation of the traditional skills. You know, the technology of net design has changed, um, and that's where the technology comes in. Um, but fundamentally, it is a net catching fish from the sea. There's a moment of clarity where they suddenly it clicks and then they can see how, uh, how it goes together. They now are able to pick up a needle and are confident enough to be able to repair a small hole and, and we're getting them down the route to be able to understand how the net goes together properly. We went through a period where it became a job that people didn't want to do. It's hard work, conditions can be quite brutal, but things have changed a lot in the recent years. The vessels are now state of the art, the accommodation is good, everything's fine, but it's, it's getting that next generation of people involved and with, with the desire to, to go forward as a career. So you're out in the air all the time. You know, no day at sea, there is never one day the same as the next. So it's a unique uh, profession in that respect. It's also now um, a lot more regularized than it was before. So there's very clear progression routes up to being a captain. And the sums of money earned are still quite substantial. It's a really proud moment to see Port Brixham continued to succeed. Um, the impact on the local economy is significant. You know, people know Torbay for the tourism sector, but actually the fish market, the fish quay, the trawlers, that's, that's what they come to visit and see as well. Um, so to be part of that development and hopefully securing its future is, is a real privilege. Not only do you need to sort of have certificates, South Devon College also offer you know, all the technology, all the mechanics that they offer, which will enable you on the boat to sort of learn a lot more about what actually happens on a fishing vessel before you even get there. So these courses are a massive help to the industry. We've had a very close relationship with BTA. Um, they were one of the sponsors when the apprenticeship first started. They provided cash for the initial intake of apprentices' um, safety gear, their, their oil skins and boots, and they've been on board with us from the beginning. We've had um, engagement from day one and support from day one. Um, everything from simply um, allowing us to use some of their conference facilities, right the way through to now we're working on a project which is looking at the onshore training, so developing training content. And Brixham can continue as a, as a destination for landing fish to um, produce high quality, high value products. You know, I started off as a fisherman at 16 years old. Um, I came ashore for health reasons. And today now, you know, I'm the managing director of Brixham Trawler Agents. Um, so please don't think that you go in as a decky learner and that's where you stay for the rest of your life. Um, there is massive scope to climb, massive scope to become a, a skipper, a mate on a boat. Went through a period, if you like, of that people would say to their children, you know, we don't want you going into the fishing industry. You know, it's hard. But that period is gone and now people are more interested in what's going to give me a career, what's going to, you know, how can I progress and how can I own my own house, how can I buy a decent car and the fishing industry can provide those things relatively quickly, much quicker than uh, other type of trades. You know, if you're prepared to work at it, you can very soon be earning quite substantial sums of money and I think that's one of the things that the people who aren't connected with the industry have come onto the apprenticeship were shocked by the earning potential that they have when they finish it.